What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. My name is Jordan if you are new here and we're friggin vlogging again. I am so excited because we are counting down the days until I leave for my next contract. So today is a Tuesday and I'm getting my hair done once again and I'm also getting my nails done with my mom so I thought it would be fun to bring you along for you know the last few days in Buffalo and we're gonna have a lot of fun. Obviously, I'm laying super low, um, but we've got to do something about this hair. I'm actually going back to brown. I love my blonde. It's just so damaging, and I've said it before. Um, the last time I got my hair done, I thought I was going to get, like, a lightish brown, but because I have so much bleach in my hair, it really didn't lift the color too well, so... Lo and behold, I'm still a blonde. So today I'm just taking the plunge and I think we're actually dyeing it. Here's a little OOTD for you. I felt like, you know, getting cute. So I have this little top. I don't remember where it's from. And then I have these amazing zebra pants. They're brand new and I included them in a haul. So I will have that link below if you're interested. But I just am obsessed with them. I think they're so fun and definitely going to be bringing these with me. And of course, I've got my water. Stay hydrated. I have made it home from my hair appointment. My hair is so, so dark. I literally don't even recognize myself in the mirror and it feels like I have a wig on. Like, honest to God, I haven't had my hair this dark in over three years, maybe four years. This is a big, big change and it's gonna take me a while to adjust. So if I'm constantly looking in the mirror the next few days, like, that's why. But I do really like it. I think it turned out amazing. And this is like my natural hair color pretty much or as close to it as I can get But it feels so healthy already and I'm hoping that my hair will actually grow Now that I'm not gonna color it anymore and I'm not bleaching it anymore Way less maintenance way better for my hair and hopefully now my hair will actually grow and get long like it used to be but I do really, really like it. It's just gonna take some adjusting. And I feel so pale right now, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know. If you hate it, don't tell me that because that's not nice. But very much out of my element right now, but I do really like it. <laughs> I'm gonna put that in slow-mo. <laughs> I just got another package in the mail. This one's from Fabletics, so they actually just sent me this adorable set, and I wanted to show you guys. So this is like a really beautiful, almost like raspberry color. This is just a crew neck, and it looks really slouchy. This is just the Sophie pullover, and oh my god, I love the color, and it looks like it's going to be so cozy. And then they also sent me these three-quarter leg or seven-eighth crop leggings and they are like this beautiful watercolor marble print and these are the high-waisted printed power hold crop how cute is this set oh my god we just got to the nail salon so we're gonna go in and get a mani pedi because my nails need it and my toes absolutely need it yeah now that you can really see the difference in the color i yeah. love your hair it looks great thanks mom okay right. let's go get our nails done Happy 
Wednesday, everyone. It is officially four days until I leave for my contract, which is so crazy. And today is like my last official day of freedom, if you will, because I'm getting my PCR COVID test tomorrow morning at like 7.30 or 8. And I have to quarantine right after that all the way up until my flight. So yeah, there's not really much happening today. I am actually going to be featured on a podcast today. So we're recording that at 2 o'clock, which will be fun. That's all I've got on the agenda today. Also, I was greeted by snow when I woke up this morning. We've got like 4 or 5 inches. And it's almost May. Typical buffalo weather for you. I did get two packages in the mail I want to share. So the first is a pair of sunglasses I bought on Amazon. They are the brand Sojo's and they just look like this. They're kind of like a Ray-Ban lookalike. Um, they're super lightweight and they've got like a gold frame. Um, I kind of feel like Elton John in these. Not Elton John. Ozzy Osbourne? I mean, I don't think I look like either, but... You get the point. And then the other package I got was from Ana Luisa. They just sent me three new pieces of jewelry. You guys know I love my Ana Luisa jewelry. Um, and they just came in these fabric pouches, if you will. First thing I got is this beautiful, like, opal ring. Um, and it's adjustable, so that'll be nice. I can decide which finger I want to wear it on. Then I just got this basic gold chain. I'm so sorry, I don't know the name of it, but I'll have a link below. Definitely gonna be getting a lot of use out of this. This is a great necklace for layering as well. The third thing I got is this little bracelet. This is like the, I think this is called the Rowena bracelet. It has little flower details throughout the gold chain. And so those are my packages for the day. I've been getting packages almost every single day lately and it's so exciting In 2022. See you. <laughs> 2022. You have a big baby. Your little highlight in your hair matches her. Uh. Her hair. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, my girls. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna miss you. I'm back home from my COVID test. It went really, really smooth. They were so organized and I didn't even have to wait to get tested. I literally just checked in with the receptionist and got tested. So I would be lying if I said I'm completely chill, relaxed right now. My anxiety is through the roof at the moment and I'm just very, very nervous, very anxious because I don't get my results until tomorrow night. So, I mean, I feel fine, but you just never know. So I was doing a little bit of digging and I actually found a COVID antigen test, which is like a like self-test home kit. This is just the Binax now. So my mom actually picked this up for me from Walgreens. So I think I'm going to test myself. I know this isn't quite as accurate as a PCR, but this will just give me peace of mind so that I'm not so worried for tomorrow. This is the box. They're like $23, I want to say, and it comes with two tests. It says I will get my results in 15 minutes. I literally, okay, I need to leave my room because I can't look at this because I might throw up because I'm so nervous. We are in luck, people. My rapid test says I'm negative which is definitely a huge relief. I thought I was, but 
I've just been overthinking literally everything. I've literally been shaking and like nauseous waiting for this result. Um, but this definitely gives me a little more peace of mind while I wait for my actual PCR test tomorrow. have yet to put makeup on today um I will get to that but I have a few online trainings that I need to renew for the ship um they expire after like a year some of them two years so I'm gonna try and work on that for a bit and knock as many out as I can because I think I have like 10 the training I'm on right now is Outbreak Prevention Plan, otherwise known as OPP. So this has been effective for many years. This has been in place on board. Um, so basically just is like a plan to keep everything sanitized, clean, and make sure that people don't get sick. All that fun stuff. Obviously this is even more important now because of COVID. <laughs> Good news, I finished all of my online trainings. There's only like two or three that I can't do until I sign on board because I need like a password or something. Those are all out of the way. I also filmed a video, hence why I have a little bit of makeup on. I'm feeling like very stressed waiting for my results. I'm very, very anxious to get my COVID results. So I think I'm going to do a little bit of yoga and I feel like that might just calm me down a little bit. It is now Friday and I haven't vlogged all day because quite honestly I am not doing well. I have been beyond anxious and pretty much having a day long panic attack because I still have not received my PCR results. Obviously it could take up to two days to get the results back but the waiting game is just absolutely brutal and it's really taking a toll on me. I am overthinking everything and I'm just so nervous that one, it's going to come back positive and that I somehow have COVID even though I feel completely fine. And secondly, I'm worried that I won't receive the results in time because I have to submit a form like 24 hours before my flight. So I really haven't done much all day. Obviously, I am home. I've just kind of been trying to keep busy around the house, but you know, nothing is really keeping my mind off of it. I'm trying to distract myself, but it's not really working. But my cousin dropped off a gift in my garage for me since I'm stuck inside. Um, and I wanted to open it because this might cheer me up a little bit. So she gave me a little gift bag, which I think is just so unnecessary, but so sweet little card that was so sweet I don't even know what it is wait this is incredible oh my god I literally need one of these okay she got me a portable fabric steamer I've literally wanted one of these forever and I'm so excited about this. That's when you know you're getting old when you get excited about a like portable steamer. But oh my god, now I don't have to go and iron my clothes on board. Oh my god, what a good gift. I would have never thought of that. 
Oh, and then she got me a little face and body hydrating mist. It's blueberry and thyme. Lynn, if you're watching this, thank you so much. I obviously am gonna text her. Literally every single time that my watch vibrates, I panic because I think it's the email telling me that my results are ready, but it's now six o'clock and I haven't heard anything, so. I'm gonna need a tall glass of wine after this. My God. Dad's birthday dinner. Hey. And I told I've got my negative test results. And I told the clinic to Yay. hold on all day until now <laughs> so that our dinner would be even better. I am cut it up and put it in her food. Watch out, baby. Jordan's back. The real Jordan has arrived. <laughs> so, I was telling Uncle Peter a little bit of the story. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Joseph. Happy birthday to you. How old are you? How old are you? Take it away. How old you are you? In the zoo. What's your girlfriend's first name? Oh, wait, how old are you first? I'm not sure. The records indicate that I'm 61 years old. Okay. Yay! My teeth are a little bit stained from the red wine, but it's all worth it. It's all part of the cause. But I'm gonna end the vlog here and try to get some sleep because I haven't really slept well in the last week or so just from stressing. Um, but I had a really good night with my parents. It was my dad's birthday. So we just kind of relaxed, watched some home videos, and yeah, that's it. I cannot believe tomorrow is my last full day home before I leave. Um, and I'm definitely going to be filming an entirely separate vlog. So keep an eye out for that. But thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.